Action.org. And you're back watching Great Lakes Now. Thank you so much. I'm Rick Jackson from Idea Stream here in Cleveland. Joined now by Catherine Buckner, the president of the Council for Great Lakes Industries. Welcome to Cleveland. I understand you. you're down from Michigan. So far, it's been interesting. Tell me a little bit about what your organization does. Well, the Council of Great Lakes Industries has been around for a couple decades now. Mm -hmm. uh, we represent corporations and associations that have major assets in the Great Lakes region. And the purpose of the organization really is now and always has been to promote sustainable development in the region, to make sure that the economic vitality of the region is integrated with all of the environmental, important environmental issues that are being discussed and resolved on a, on a regional basis. You talk about what they are. Tell me some of the groups that people might recognize the names of. Well, our organization has a really strong and loyal membership from a l major corporations that most people recognize. Um, Dow, um, Shell, BP, the oil and gas industry, heavy uh, DuPont and, and um, chemical industry representatives. So we have you know, major corporations that have been here for a long time, strong industry in the region, and, and companies with a real commitment to, um, to sustainable development of the region and the health and vitality of the region. When we talk about business, we heard the, uh, the plea from the ArcelorMittal uh, person about an hour or so ago talking about what it, is, what it means to them to have the waterways clean and usable. Is that really one of the goals, to have these businesses chip in, as it were, support the government, support the people, support agriculture, support everything that goes into the water? Well, chip in to some extent. I think industry has a strong record uh, in the past several decades of improving the region's mm -hmm. vitality and, and working with these other groups. And one of the reasons we're here this week is to work with these other groups to restore and protect the Great Lakes. Certainly, I think everybody understands that healthy lakes and healthy economy, it sounds almost cliche, are really connected. And, um, and our industry representatives sometimes aren't always showcased as at the forefront of some of those positive developments, but there are industry folks working really hard alongside a lot of these other people and other groups and the government to achieve what we all want, you know, which is a healthy region. So People drive by, for instance, here in downtown Cleveland, you see the Port of Cleveland, you understand how that's connected to the water. But there are companies out there, major companies like you mentioned, that use the water in ways that maybe most folks aren't thinking about. Well, what's kind of interesting is that our members are water users, direct water users. Some of our members and some other industry that's interested in sustainable development may not be direct water users, but they're certainly interested in the region and, um, and in the health of the region. And you can't separate the health of the region from the health of the water. So a lot of people focus on the water, but CGLI and, and our members and some of the other industry folks that we're in connection with, we focus on the water, but we focus on a broader agenda to some extent that, it, that works on making sure that all of the important interests in the region are considered. Um, we are um, we emphasize heavy stakeholder engagement. We want everybody to be at the table while we talk about some of these issues. Um, so although everybody sort of wants a healthy regional system, we all are looking at it in a different from a different perspective. Right. We think that healthy um, processes make for healthy policy. So when we're sitting at the table with the other folks, I think we get better policy and better results. Looking for expansion? If somebody wants to join the group, what do they do? Well, we're always looking for expansion. And in fact, um, we are really interested in mobilizing the industrial community even more than it is now to sort of work on some of these issues. So certainly, uh, anybody who's interested in talking to CGLI can contact me. Um, in our office is in Ann Arbor. My, my email address is kabuckner at cgli.org. Um, and we would love to talk with industry about what their priorities are for the region and how we can all work together with the other folks at this conference and beyond this conference on some of these issues. Is there more strength because you're based in Michigan, in Michigan? Does Ohio play in? Does New York play in? Our members come from the entire region and we are unique, in fact, as an industry association because our focus is regional. We focus not so much at a state level, but we focus on regional policy. So our members come from Minnesota and Wisconsin. They come from Michigan, they come from Ohio, and they come from other regions and certainly our large global corporations with significant assets here. We are also a binational organization, so our members include not only U.S. corporations but also Canadian corporations. So we're looking to really uh, be, be and continue to be a regional player, the banner carrier as it were for industry in a lot of these policy discussions. Getting to be a bigger and bigger player. Well, we've been very prominent, and um, you know, I'm fairly new with the organization, but mm -hmm. CGLI has a pretty well-established reputation, from what I can tell, for being very collaborative, very constructive in some of these discussions. We are always interested in, in being involved with more industry and, and really having a, a greater impact, as many people are, on some of these issues. So always looking to expand. Catherine Buckner may be new, but she's the president of the <laughs> Council for Great Lakes Industries. Thanks for taking time out to talk Thank with us. Thank you very much. Our pleasure. Appreciate that.